introducing the poor man's laser level. This is uh, three identical laser levels that I cherry picked at the hardware store. I you know made sure that each one read the exact same level when they were leveled. You know, like stack them on top of each other. Uh, now the first bubble here, I'm going to take a look at this one, and I got leveling screws on the sides on each uh, corner of this equilateral triangle, and I'm going to adjust the screws on here to get this first one here right on the money. Uh, as you notice, I painted the tops of the levels black, and the outside I painted black, and I also put black construction paper on the outside of the equilateral triangle. Uh, so I'm going to go to the next one here, and I'm going to adjust the leveling feet on this one. Uh, you can see on this one here the bubble's way off, so I'm going to uh, adjust the left uh, left leveling screw here quite a bit. And then also notice that the inside of these things I painted white. Um, I painted them white uh, to get maximum contrast, so you can see when the okay there we go that looks pretty good there. Okay, um, I also have a, a piece of black construction paper here to try and. Uh, Oh, that looks pretty good there. Um, I'm going to leave that. And um, I got the black construction paper there so you can get better contrast. Um, so now I'm going to go back to the first one here and make sure that that one's uh, good and level again. Um, so I don't want to, uh, I want to make sure everyone's perfectly level um, before we start our, our process. Um, so the idea is that you want to, when your eye is at, so now I'm going to uh, move out here. It looks like we've got everything set up here. Um, now the idea is that when your eye is at the exact same elevation as the top of the level, so white of the inside will just barely be eclipsed by the black on the outside. That's why I have it white on the inside and black on the outside for maximum contrast. So you bob your head up and down till the white just disappears, and then you, then you know that your eye is at the exact same elevation as the top of those levels. So that's like a, so you have like a reference plane. Now you put down your tape measure um, and um, put it on the ground somewhere and uh, and then move your head up and down until the, the white just gets eclipsed by the black and right about there and so you can see it's just a, sh a hair under uh, 34 inches it's probably like you know 33 and three quarters inches uh, for our elevation here at this point compared to the reference plane. So it's 30, 33 and 3 quarters inches down from our reference plane. Okay, again, do it again. Uh, move your head up and down. And again, it's, it's you know, 30, 34. It's a little less than 34 inches. And um, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, one of the things, that you can go about 100 feet away from the thing uh, with the eye. The, the camera, you know, the, the resolution of the camera isn't very good. Uh, so you really can't do it. Um, but yeah, you just, you know, move around to where you want to go, put your tape measure down, uh, take your reading, and you go along like that, so you look for, you know, all the things that are like 34 inches along the ground there, and you put a marker there, and that will be your contour line. Um, and you can go 100, 100 feet away from the poor man's laser level and still get a good, uh, uh, fairly easily spot the, um, the um, eclipsing of the white. And I've gone even as far as 150 feet uh, with it uh, under ideal condition, you know, the, the angle of the sun and, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it really works. Um, and I've done a 500 foot long trench with this thing and it worked beautifully. Uh, I was amazed at how well it worked.